And as the athletes now are getting ready to fly off to Paris for the game, some local ones are soaking up the sun and kayaking along the river. Look at this here in Bryson City at the Outdoor Center. Just gorgeous out there. And let's bring it over to meteorologist Andrew Brightman. Andrew, it has been hot, hot, hot yes. out there. Not really any relief in sight though, right? I would say a little bit of relief. Couple Inside. degrees. <laughs> okay. You gotta take what you can get here this time of year. 96 degrees under South Park Cam. I do not think we'll even get to 96 tomorrow. We're gonna be cooler than that. And we'll talk about the why here coming up in a moment. South Southeasterly winds seven miles an hour. Temperatures all across the Carolinas. I think it's hot here. Check out Columbia 102 right now. A hundred up in Raleigh, 99 in Greenville. It is a scorching day all across the Carolinas. The hottest day of the year so far as you two have been talking about. Muggy meter, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of relief on the way in terms of humidity until probably early next week. We're going to be dealing with the humid conditions across the Carolinas, but but it is going to be a little bit cooler. Notice the high temperatures here, more like the low to mid 90s versus the mid to upper 90s that we've seen so far over the first three days this week. It's going to get a little bit cooler. Emphasis on a little. Pinpoint satellite and radar right now. We've got some strong and severe storms farther off to our north, also to our south, but we're right in the middle here where it's just for the most part fair weather clouds. What's going on though? off to our north and west. We've got a frontal boundary that's moving towards us. You can see some of the scattered strong storms. Every little orange polygon that is a severe thunderstorm warning. Good news is not really expecting any severe weather to roll through, but this frontal boundary will continue to push off to the south and east. Won't have a huge punch to it in terms of cooler temperatures, but will bring us the potential for some scattered showers and storms. And that's what's going to tamp down the excessive heat potential tomorrow. Feels like temperatures. I think it's probably overdoing it a little bit here in terms of the effects of any shower or cloud cover. But going to be feeling toasty again on Friday. Feels like temperatures mid to upper 90s. Then on Saturday could be feeling like again around the 100 degree mark. I think that has to do more with the humidity than with temperatures around the century point. Future cast this evening, 545, partly cloudy. It's still going to be hot. It's still going to be very, very warm this evening. Even at midnight, 1230, it's still in the low 80s here in Charlotte. Watching though that frontal boundary 215 in the morning, you see some of those scattered showers starting to push in across the mountains here. A lot more cloud cover in the morning. That's going to help to hold down our temperatures a little bit as well. But I'm really watching as we head into the afternoons, this frontal boundary trying to bring us some cooler temperatures. Really, it's just going to be the cloud cover and then these scattered showers and storms you see popping up during the afternoon is really going to help to tamp down our temperatures here. This is five o'clock. You see more scattered showers and storms before starting to fade as we head through the evening hours. So really cloud cover with some hit and miss afternoon showers and storms. That's going to be the recipe coming together for at least slightly cooler weather for your Friday Eve. As for your backyard grilling forecast tonight, if you do want to do grilling, go for it. Just make sure you maybe got a nice cold bottle of water or glass of water next to you. Overnight lows down into the middle 70s here across the Piedmont and Sand Hills up in the mountains. Maybe not quite cool enough to open up the window, but at least closer to it for Boone and Jefferson with lows down in the middle 60s. Windshield wiper forecast tomorrow, watching the afternoon hours, but also more cloud cover on the way, and that's going to keep the temperatures cool. You see a lot more upper 80s and low 90s on the way. I still think we get to 91 here in Charlotte, 87 in Lincoln, 87 in Gastonia. Mid and upper 80s, all that cloud cover keeping you cooler, and that is certainly going to be the case. We expect more wet weather too up in the mountains, only 76 for Boone in Jefferson. That will be the comfortable spot to be. Pinpoint seven day forecast. We've got the hit and miss shower and storm potential all the way through your Sunday. Monday temperatures don't change all that much, but we should get a noticeable drop in the humidity, at least for one day, helping it to make it feel just a little bit more comfortable. Morgan and Alicia.